New leaks of user accounts, account logins and passwords regularly appear online. For example, the most recent one, information about which appeared online on Monday, October 27, resulted in the leak of 183 million logins and passwords, including Gmail accounts. Most importantly, we often receive emails containing various personal information like passport details, bank details and so on. This information can be used by scammers against you. That's why in today's video I'll show you 5 important security settings you need to check and change in your Gmail account, so your Gmail account will be nearly impossible to hack. Welcome to my channel and let's dive in. Let's start with the first one. For this, open your Gmail on your phone. After that, in the upper right hand corner of the screen, tap on your profile photo and here you can see button Manage your Google account. Tap on that. Then scroll down to Security and Sign In. Here you can find feature two-step verification. If you scroll down a little bit, this feature works so that if, for example, your username and password fall into the hands of scammers, when they try to access your account, you will receive a notification, for example, via your phone number or email, and you can block the attempt to access your account if it wasn't you. So open two-step verification. After that, if you don't have your phone number in your Google account, you can add your phone number here. I recommend add your phone number to your Google account. Just tap on add phone number, type your number and tap next. Then scroll down to turn on two-step verification and tap on this button to turn on two-step verification. Also, I recommend add a backup email address which will help you recover your account in the event of a hack or if you simply forget your password. For this, tap back, scroll down to recovery email, open this tab and after that you can add your recover email. Just tap on this button and type your email and tap save. Further, let's move to the next setting. Tap back, tap back again. Step back one more to security and sign in and here you can see tab Google prompts. Open this tab and here you can see a list of devices that are currently receiving notifications about someone logging in into your Gmail account. Check that there are no unknown devices here. If you notice it any, delete them so that notifications only reach your devices. To delete unknown device, tap manage devices. After that, select device which you don't recognize. For example, I don't have phone Sony Xperia XZ2. This is my old phone. I already don't have this phone, so I tap on Sony Xperia. And after that, tap on logout. After that, tap back and tap back to the security and sign in and go to the next setting. For this, scroll down to your connections to third-party apps and services. Here we see the apps and services that have access to information from your Google account. You see these services here because you logged into them using your Google account. We can tap see all connections. And now it's important to determine which services you continue to use. They can remain in this list and those you no longer use should be removed from this list so they no longer have access to your Google account. For example, I am not use uh, now TikTok, so I tap on TikTok. After that, scroll down and tap delete all connections you have with TikTok. After that, tap confirm. And before we move on to the next setting, I want to suggest that you secure not only your Gmail, but also your entire internet connection and all your devices and Surfshark will help you with this. Because Surfshark is not just a VPN, it's a complete online security app and it can be installed on all your devices, your phone, computer or even TV and is available for Android, iOS, Windows, macOS and as browser extension. The main advantage of Surfshark is that it encrypts your internet traffic, keeping your data safe even on public Wi-Fi. This prevents hackers from intercepting information and protects users from data leaks. Some that's constantly in the news. You can also change your location with one click, thereby comparing ticket price and hotels in different countries. And you can also access streaming platform and websites that aren't available in your area.
The Surfshark app also has a built-in antivirus that will protect you from viruses and malware, and the alert feature will notify you if your data is leaked online, allowing you to change it before it's exploited by scammers. Another useful tool – Alternative ID. This feature generates a fake name, address, email and phone number for you to keep real data safe and anonymous. And finally, Surfshark offers a net-free, tracker-free search engine for completely private browsing. As you can see, Surfshark offers comprehensive protection against viruses, malware and scammers, and also cares about our privacy, therefore it's worth taking care of the security of your internet connection and your devices by downloading Surfshark using the link in the video description. You will also see a QR code on the screen. With the promo code UsefulThings, you will get 4 extra months of Surfshark VPN. If you don't like Surfshark, you can get your money back within 30 days of purchase. And now let's return to the our Gmail open Gmail app again, then tap on your profile photo and tap on manage Google account. And we move on to the next setting. For this open security and sign in. And scroll down to dark web. Now I'll show you where this setting. This is it, dark web report. Tap on this. Then tap Start Monitoring and tap Select All. Tap Allow and tap Done. And now I will explain what we have done. This is very useful feature that constantly monitors the dark web to notify you if your data is leaked or to the dark web. And if it turns out that some of your data has ended up on the dark web, for example in a database that has been leaked online and could be used by scammers, you will see a notification about this and can promptly change your password, username or phone number for example. And the last setting, which may trivial to some users, is actually worth paying attention to. This is a strong password for your account. For this, tap back, scroll up to password and open this tab. And now you can change your password. On the screen you can see examples of strong and weak passwords. If your password is weak, change it immediately. A strong password is one that contains at least 10 characters, includes numbers and special characters, and does not contain any personal information such as your name or birth date. You should definitely change your password if your password consists of your name and birth date. To change your password, enter your new password here. After that, scroll down and confirm your new password, then tap change password. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss new helpful videos. Thanks to everyone supporting my channel, I really appreciate it. If you'd like to support as well, you can do so via the link in the description. Thanks for watching.